During this spring, 2.6 million people are expected to travel per day when the weather is warm and inviting. With the world around us coming back to life again, it's the perfect time for traveling around the world and exploring the beauty of nature. Here are the 10 best places to visit in the spring. Number 10. The Gokenhof Gardens The Gokenhof Gardens, located in the Netherlands, is a renowned destination for flower lovers, flourishing with an array of blooms for a limited period each spring with over 700 varieties of tulips that transform the landscape into a colorful display. In the gardens, you won't want to miss the Tulip Mosaic, where a vast floral arrangement creates a new captivating design annually. The pavilions, named in honor of Dutch royalty, offer specialized exhibits. The Beatrix Pavilion is notable for its sophisticated arrangements of lilies and tulips, and the Willem Alexander Pavilion presents a stunning collection of roses. The historical garden is a unique feature that presents flower beds aligned with different periods of Dutch floral history appealing to those with a passion for the past. For a tranquil retreat, the Japanese garden provides a space of calm with traditional elements such as waterfalls, lanterns, and bridges. For an optimal visit, it's recommended to arrive early to avoid the crowds, allowing for a leisurely exploration of the gardens. Number 9. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park The Great Smoky Mountains National Park, especially in spring, transforms as wildflowers burst into a spectrum of colors and the park's waterfalls surge with life. This park, as the most visited national park in the United States, draws visitors with its stunning landscape variety, including cascading falls like Laurel Falls, Abrams Falls, and Rainbow Falls, and its dense forests that offer ever-changing vistas. This park stands out for its rich biodiversity, housing over 1,500 species of flowering plants, 240 bird varieties, and 50 fish species. It is a sanctuary for wildlife such as the black bear, elk, peregrine falcon, and the unique hellbender salamander. The historical influence of the Cherokee people who resided in these mountains for generations is evident across the park. Their legacies, along with the broader Appalachian heritage, are preserved in the historical buildings and sites within. Since its establishment in 1934, the park has also become a hub for cultural experiences. Places like Cades Cove, once home to a vibrant community, along with various museums and centers, offer insights into the region's history and natural history. The park's ancient origins, dating back over 200 million years, are an essential aspect of its allure. Number 8. The Blue Ridge Parkway the Blue Ridge Parkway extends for 469 miles through the Appalachian Mountains, serving as a corridor from Virginia to North Carolina. Its construction spanned from 1935 to 1987, marking it as a symbol of the country's determination through tough periods. Its route offers stunning views that change with each mile. When spring arrives, the landscape transforms with the bloom of wildflowers painting the terrain with a spectrum of color. The parkway offers more than just panoramic drives. It's a destination for outdoor activities. It caters to hikers, cyclists, and those seeking tranquility in nature. The region features a diverse range of natural wonders, from towering mountains to thick woodlands and peaceful waterfalls. The area is also rich in wildlife, including black bears, deer, and the elusive peregrine falcon. Attractions like the Blue Ridge Music Center and Maybury Mill provide insights into the area's heritage. These spots, together with numerous festivals and cultural events, showcase the Appalachian traditions. As the longest parkway run by the Park Service in the United States, the Blue Ridge Parkway is a sanctuary for numerous species. It supports over 1,600 plant varieties and more than 400 animal species. Number 7. The Loire Valley the Loire Valley in France stands as a testament to both history and natural beauty, with its array of stunning castles and picturesque gardens. As spring arrives, the wildflowers bloom, adorning the landscape with a spectrum of color. This region, located in central France by the Loire River, features rolling hills, dense forests, and charming villages. The valley's history is rich, once serving as the chosen home of French royalty. The influence of kings and queens is still apparent, with over 300 castles scattered across the countryside. Castles like Chambord, Chenonceau, and Viandry are not only architectural marvels, but also portals to the past, providing insights into the opulence of French aristocracy. The towns of Amboise, Blois, and Tours offers more than just amazing views. Each town boasts its unique feel, with cobblestone alleys, traditional half-timbered houses, and one-of-a-kind shops. And not to be overlooked are the Loire Valley Gardens, such as those at Viandry and Chenonceau which are renowned for their meticulously curated landscapes and diverse plant life. 
Number 6. The Amalfi Coast The Amalfi Coast in Italy captivates with its array of colorful houses perched on cliffs set against the Mediterranean Sea. Strolling through Positano, the spectrum of homes creates a picturesque scene reminiscent of a storybook setting. Amalfi Town is steeped in history, with its impressive cathedral and a harbor where sailboats glide and shops offer unique items. Nearby, Ravello provides a breathtaking coastal panorama. Its gardens offer serenity, while historic villas share tales of the past. This region is rich with legends and archaeological wonders, such as the ruins in Pompeii that whisper of an ancient civilization. The coast is also famed for its extraordinary lemons, larger than life and bursting with flavor. They're used to make the renowned limoncello. The Amalfi Coast also offers trails with expansive views of the sea. You can visit the island of Capri with its exquisite beaches and cliffs that have been the backdrop to countless sunsets, encapsulating the essence of luxury in this Italian escapade. Number 5. The Wisteria Flower Tunnel The Wisteria Flower Tunnel in Japan's Kawachi Fuji Gardens offers a unique experience. Walking through, visitors find themselves surrounded by centuries-old vines laden with purple, white, and pink blossoms. In spring, these vines form a colorful canopy, creating a tranquil atmosphere. Since its establishment in 1977, Kawachi Fuji Gardens in Kitakyushu has attracted flower enthusiasts. The garden, once private, was opened to the public by owner Ichiro Kawachi in 1995. The Wisteria Flower Tunnel is a feature that leaves a lasting impression. It's as long as a soccer field and wide enough for a small car, providing a memorable stroll for visitors. At dusk, the garden presents a different view with the Wisteria Flower Tunnel illuminated. The lighting enhances the flowers, casting a gentle glow against the night backdrop. However, the tunnel is just one part of the garden's appeal. You can also see a waterfall of Wisteria flowers, enjoy a cafe with Wisteria themes, and admire a heart-shaped tunnel that contributes to the garden's allure. Number 4. The Tulip Fields of Holland Holland's tulip fields transform into a sea of color every spring. Stretching across the landscape, these fields are blanketed with tulips that create a spectrum of vibrant hues. Visitors should note that this floral display is transient typically lasting just a few weeks each year, making precise timing essential for those wishing to witness this natural spectacle. The arrival of tulips in Holland during the 16th century marked the beginning of a long-standing affinity for these blooms. Their distinct silhouette and rich colors have endeared them to many over the centuries. The 17th century in particular saw a frenzy over tulips, with skyrocketing demand and prices in an episode famously known as Tulip Mania. Currently, tulip cultivation is a cornerstone of Holland's agricultural economy. The nation is a leading exporter of tulips, drawing flower lovers from all around the world. The Kuchenhive Gardens in Lys, recognized as the largest flower garden on the globe, is a notable highlight. Travelers can reach the tulip fields from Amsterdam with ease. Upon arrival, there are options to meander through the fields on foot or by bicycle, enjoying the scenery, photographing the blooms, or visiting local flower markets. In spring, the region comes alive with numerous events celebrating tulips. The Kuchenhive Gardens open their gates for an eight-week period, and various flower festivals are held in surrounding towns and villages. The tulip fields cover more than 30,000 hectares and are responsible for the production of over 7 billion bulbs every year, with red tulips being particularly popular. Number 3. The Cherry Blossom Festival Every year, the Cherry Blossom Festival transforms Japan into a canvas of pink hues. The blossoming of Sakura marks the arrival of spring, symbolizing new beginnings and hope. The origins of this festival trace back centuries when individuals in Japan would pause beneath these flowering trees to soak in their beauty and express their thoughts through poetry. With time, the celebration expanded to include all layers of society. The festivities commence in March and span a fortnight. The cherry blossoms make a gradual entrance, first appearing in the southern regions, then blossoming northwards. By April, Tokyo dons a pink blanket, and by May, the blossoms reach Hokkaido. Parks become social hubs during the festival. Blankets are spread and people indulge in food, music, and games under the blossoming trees. Sometimes the air is lit with fireworks, adding to the joy of this nationwide picnic. The delicate cherry blossoms are a poignant symbol of life's transient nature. Number 2. The Skagit Valley Tulip Festival Spring brings a transformation to Skagit Valley, Washington. The region is renowned for its tulip production, and in April, the landscape is awash with the colors of millions of tulips. This change marks the beginning of the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival, a celebration that lasts for the entire month. 
As the leading tulip producer in the United States, Skagit Valley is home to more than 300 farms, a number of which are very well known, such as Rusengarda and Tulip Town. These farms open to visitors, providing a memorable experience amidst the flowers. The festival is more than a floral showcase. It includes various events tailored for a diverse audience. The Daffodil Festival Parade, the Kiwanis Salmon Bake, and the Woodfest Arts and Craft Show offer entertainment for families, groups of friends, and individual explorers alike. In addition to the expansive fields, the festival features special gardens where one can admire different tulip varieties. The Roslyn Garden and the Washington Bulb Company Display Garden are highlights not to be missed. Since its inception in 1984, the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival has been an annual tradition. Tulip farmers initiated the event with the intention of sharing the splendor of their fields with others and to elevate the valley's status. Number 1. Yosemite National Park Yosemite National Park, located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California, transforms in spring. Waterfalls, fed by melting snow, reach their peak flow, and the landscape is blanketed with a variety of wildflowers. Established as the fifth national park in the United States, Yosemite continues to draw visitors with over 4 million people in 2022 alone coming to explore its natural beauty. Among the park's features, the waterfalls stand out. Yosemite Falls, with its dramatic drop, is one of the tallest in North America, while Bridal Veil Fall impresses with its graceful descent. Beyond the waterfalls, Yosemite's Mariposa Grove offers a connection to the ancient world through its towering sequoia trees. The grizzly giant, one of the oldest, has stood sentinel for a millennia. The park caters to adventure seekers, whether it's scaling El Capitan, wandering through expansive meadows, or camping beneath the stars, Yosemite offers numerous ways to engage with the wilderness. Yosemite also holds centuries of human history. The Awanichi people's presence is etched into the landscape, remembered in place names and stories. The park's preservation efforts began with President Abraham Lincoln's signing of an act in 1864, and in 1890, Yosemite gained further protection as America's third national park. Which place will you visit in the spring? Subscribe to our travel community and let us know in the comments below.